Pat Tutorial Dudes, and today I'm going to show you a very nice thing that you can save SSH blobs on any firmware, and this is um uh, just a very nice alternative to Tiny Umbrella and Cydia, cause those can't save SSH blobs on 5.0 or higher. So this is a very easy way to do so. You all you need to do is go to ihatesnow.com and download the iFaith. Um, it's only for Windows, sorry Mac users. So once you do that, um. You're going to ignore these three. You don't need to worry about these right now. Just click on dump sh sh blobs. Now what it tells you is it says it works for everything. So it works for um, pretty much any version of firmware that's out there. Just the newest update. So what you're going to do is then proceed. And you have to do all this. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your uh, iDevice into U DFU mode, which it has the instructions on the screen. This is not a jailbreak. You don't need to be jailbroken to do this. It's just going to take some information, so we're going to say no because it's not an Apple TV. It's just going to take some information from your iPod. Now first, we're, all you have to do is just turn your iPod off. And um, I'm not going to have my iPod, but you can. It's it has everything right here, what you need to do. So now my iPod's off, so I'm going to start. And now it's going to tell me what to do. So hold the home and power button for 10 seconds. Then you're going to release the power button in five seconds okay now you can keep holding the home button and it's not really usually for the whole 30 seconds usually it's about like 15 okay so right now it's just gonna go through this stuff right here I'm gonna come back when it's done you don't, you don't need to worry about iTunes just close out of that if you want so right now it's doing some stuff and I'll come back when it's done If you have a tethered, uh, tethered jailbreak, you'll have to re-jailbreak your iPod after this. But if you have an untethered jailbreak, you'll be it'll restore, it'll restart just like it usually does. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to save it to a location. So I'm just gonna you know save it to wherever, and then it saves your SSH blob, and it also saves it on a server as you can see here. So now make sure you never delete this, and um, that's a very nice thing to have. And uh, it takes you back to here. Now, um, this is something you can do just for fun. What you can do is you can find what your what kind of SSHs you actually have. Now, if you actually want to go d downgrade your iPod, you're gonna have to click on this one. Then you'll have to find out find your SSH blobs, open it. Then it'll then you'll it'll show you what to do. Basically, it'll show you how to restore with iTunes and everything. So that's that's what this will do. So that'll help you get back to it. Um, it's very simple what to do. And that's basically all there is to it. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment.